Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac, we'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. That's not right. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. So Valdez was just driving by and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. So you don't know where the kid lives? He got kicked out of his last place. He might be at his girlfriend's, but I don't know where that is. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Gabriel Delgado. Delgado. Last known address has him living with a common-law wife. 103 Hill Street, apartment 3. You really ought to Thanks take more help. time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Extra 
You read this story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking using color. Look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted?
yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he was part of the life. Diplomatic license plate. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. I'm at a loss. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. This isn't what we're looking for. What now? We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. like a decent guy. What the hell is this guy doing? You drive. I need to go over the case notes.
You must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it, any street value. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. owned by the Argentinian embassy. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thank you. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. You can drive. Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. That's that cop. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Dewey Brothers, you think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the Consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. You didn't use the car last night? For dinner, yes. But it was back in the garage by nine. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. My wife is so dumb, she shares an orange juice for hours. Well, it does take time to get me on the side. I'm 
That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my staff. Can you drive to this one? That's the cops from the new case. Apartment three. I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. Souvenirs are a dumb move. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets.
What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling the mother. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. You could have killed him! There's the red Ford, that's Delgado, right there. Quick, they're getting away! Phelps, 1247, requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. He's getting away. You're gonna lose him. Delgado is our boy, forget the other. Step on it, Phelps, take him out. Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Better call the coroner, Phelps, and the captain. We're gonna be in the doghouse for smoking this punk. Let me get this straight. In all the time you spent in the army, in basic training, in officer school, at the police academy, at no point during that time did anyone teach you how to control a fucking automobile? You destroyed God knows how many vehicles, you terrorized citizens throughout East Downtown, and we haven't got a goddamn thing to show for it. You were on street duties until such time as I see fit to assign you another case. Now get the hell out of my sight. <laughs> 